Hello. Hi, everybody. This is Ian Lamont, founder of Easy Genie Genealogy Charts and Forums. Today, I'm going to show you a neat trick to use Family Search to search the database for Find a Grave. And the idea is you can use Family Search to find headstones that other people have indexed. These are gravestones in cemeteries all across the world. And volunteers for years have been uh, taking pictures of them, uploading the information to a site called Find a Grave. Uh, but I actually use Family Search to look for them because Family Search has a really good interface. So let's get started. Um, when you come to Family Search, you should log in and then click Search and Search Records. So even though a headstone is not a record per se, it's still located in this, this particular area. Um, if you come to this interface, this is the very basic interface. I actually like to choose more options or advanced search because you can give more information uh, if you're sure about it. So first thing I'm going to do is type the name of the ancestor. So here's the story with this ancestor. His name is John Wallace. We know that from census records. And I know that he was born in the 1830s. I don't know exactly when he died, although it, I think it was between 1880 and 1892 based on uh, census records for the, for the state of New York. I also know that he was probably born in England, but I'm not going to use that particular piece of information. So you can see I entered first name John, last name Wallace, and then I'm going to click this little thing here that says death. So the death place was New York State. Um, I don't like to put in the name of the city or the town because sometimes it may be another town nearby or even some, you know, uh, even a county across the state. So I just put in New York State. So the death year, as I told you, I know from the uh, census records that that this person probably died between 1880 and 1892. Um, I could also add more information here, but let's just see what turns up when I click search. Okay, so first of all, you're going to get lots of records. Filter results, 11,000. That's too many. And I know the website I want. It's called Find a Grave. So I'm just going to click this button here that says Collection. Collection title, Find a Grave Index. That's what I want. And you can see there's only 46 uh, results there. So let's apply the collection filter. And here we go. So this is going to show all the John Wallaces and maybe some people with similar names between the years who died between the years of 1880 and 1892 and they're in find a grave. So let's take a look here. And I know the person probably died either in Lockport, New York or in the county of Niagara, New York. So I'm going to be looking at this information. So this person who died in Brooklyn, nope, wrong area. Bronx, wrong. Uh, Brooklyn, nope. Flipstown, Oswego, no. So I'm going through all these all these uh, names here. Rochester's kind of close, but maybe but maybe not. Let's see what else I can find. So Lockport, here's one. John Wallace uh, died 14 April 1883, Lockport, Niagara, New York. So this is actually this is the right area. So let's see if this person is the one that we're looking for. So what you can do is you can click on this little icon which says View the Image. So I'm going to open it up actually in a new tab. So you can right click. And by the way, if you you can you, you can do this using a, a Windows machine or a Mac or a Chromebook, it should all work the same way because this is just a website. So I'm opening it up. So here we're on a new website, Find a Grave. Uh, John Wallace, birth unknown, death 14 April 1883, Niagara County Almshouse Cemetery. So this is sadly the place where uh, very poor destitute people were buried. Uh, However, it says that the Niagara County Historian's Office, where I've been before, they actually have a list made a long time ago that shows um, that basically compiled who was buried in this particular graveyard. So maybe there's no stone visible, but at least there's this record. And it's really hard to see, but right here, I don't know if you can see, it says John Wallace, um, looks like age 42, died in 1883. So this is probably not the right person because this person, if you, sub if you subtract 42 from 1883, you'll get 1841. And I'm pretty sure he was born in the mid-1830s. So I don't think it's this particular person. Let's keep this open just in case because there may be no other results. So let's keep on going. And up here is another John Wallace. This time we have a birth date, which is in the mid-1830s. That's about right. It's also in Lockport. There's also in this is find a grave. So let's take a look at this one. So I'm going to right click, open a new tab. And here we go. John Wallace 1835 to 1889. That sounds about right. Not only that, Sarah Jane, that is my John Wallace's wife's uh, first name. So he, she went by Sarah Jane. 
and um, this is about the right death date for her too. So you can see they were buried together. Whenever you find the right gravestone, um, that's fantastic. Save this image. So on a Mac or PC, you could just do right click, save image as, and then save it to your hard drive, or just figure out some way to get this image onto your hard drive so you can have it for future reference. The other thing that you should do uh, when you when you find someone on find a grave is note where the um, location of this is and all the other information, put it into your software program that you use, and also note, note the lot, because this information can be very useful in finding other people who are related to John Wallace and Sarah Jane who were buried in the same family plot. This is Ian Lamont from Easy Genie. Uh, we sell all kinds of high-quality, acid-free paper charts, as well as fillable PDFs that you can use to keep your data private on your own computer, print it out when you need to. Go to easygenie.org. Thank you very much for watching.